A blockchain is a public digital ledger that records all the transactions inside the network. It is publicly verifiable and also cryptographically secure. In a very abstract sense, uh, a blockchain is simply a, a construct that allows uh, an entire community of people to come to a shared consensus about some sort of state. Uh, and traditionally we see this done as a ledger of transactions that builds up some sort of program state. Uh, but I think really conceptually, uh, we need to expand our minds as far as what a blockchain is to include any secure and verifiable way for a community to come to shared consensus about any kind of topic. A blockchain is like a radio station where everyone can call in, broadcast their transactions, and because everyone can record the radio station, everyone can run the signal through their own computer, everyone can agree on what everyone's balance is. And so the, the goal of a blockchain is to decide who gets to control the radio station, what goes on the air, what doesn't go on the air. And if you have this public broadcast of information, all of a sudden everyone can agree on the facts, everyone can agree on that. And that enables very powerful applications like currency and governance and voting to occur in a way that there's no need for dispute because everyone has the tools, the computer and the software and the means of broadcasting. The way that I see blockchain is just mass scalable secure data transfer. The internet introduced scalable insecure data transfer and the whole internet was architected around the idea that it was insecure. And what you're seeing now is that the ability to uh, post or, or, or distribute secure data transfer is resulting in a re-architecture or a rebuild of the entire internet landscape. So I, I view blockchain as just the next generation of the internet, a secure version of the internet.